Welcome to Business Tax Part 42, Taxes and Updating a Tax by IT Convergence. On our previous video, we saw how to set up a new tax on a business tax. Now we will see how to update that tax. After you have completed all the necessary steps in your tax setup, use the Update Tax page to perform these tasks. For offset taxes, enter a 100% recoverable rate. For tax recovery, review update the default primary recovery rate code and default secondary recovery rate code. Make each tax available on transactions. When you enable the Make Tax Available for Transactions option, a business tax runs a series of checks to ensure that all of the definitions related to the tax have been defined. On the Configuration tab and under Taxes, we can see the tax that we created earlier. From here, we can update our tax information. Let's see how to make a tax available on transactions. For this, you will have to define some points, either a default place of supply or a tax rule for the rule type determine place of supply, either a default tax registration or a tax rule for the rule type determine tax registration, either a default tax status and default tax rate or tax rules for the rule types determine tax status and determine tax rate or the rule type direct tax rate determination. Either a default tax formula or a tax rule for the rule type determine taxable basis. Either a default tax formula or a tax rule for the rule type calculate tax amount. A primary tax recovery rate if you set the allowed recovery option for the tax at least one tax jurisdiction for the tax. An exchange rate type if the tax is used in cross-border transactions. Now let's talk about offset taxes. An offset tax calculates and records third-party payables, tax liabilities for reverse charges, self-assessments, and in the United States, consumers use tax. An offset tax record is the matching duplicate record with negative amounts that reduces or completely offsets the tax liability recorded in the tax transaction. Use offset taxes when the tax requirement includes creating offset general ledger postings. You cannot update the recovery rate on an offset tax line. The recovery rate is always 100% in order to create credit entries that match the original tax amounts. When you create an offset tax, you enter a primary recovery type with a recoverable rate of 100% and a 100% recovery rate. To set up for offset taxes, you must perform these tasks. Enable offset tax calculations for each applicable transaction event and party. Set up the offset tax, tax status, and tax rate and set up the original tax and assign the offset tax rate code to the original tax rate. Perform these tasks to enable offset tax calculations. First, review the offset tax settings for payable transaction events. Second, if applicable, update the offset tax basis for the combinations of configuration owners and transaction events that you want. And third, set the allow offset taxes option for the applicable third parties. You should set this option for each third party involved in offset tax transactions. To set up an offset tax, perform these tasks. First, define at least one recovery type lookup to use with offset taxes and set up the offset tax. Second, set the tax status for the offset tax. Do not set the allowed tax rate of the right option. Then, set up a 100% tax recovery rate for the offset tax using the recovery type that you define in step 1. Set up the tax rate for the offset tax and set up the original tax. Fifth, perform the related setup for the original tax. Then, set up the tax rate for the original tax and enter the offset rate code that you created in step 5. And last, make the tax available on transaction. Now let's talk about managing tax use and availability. You can manage the use and availability of the taxes in your tax regimes by applying an end date to the appropriate record of records. Before you apply end dates to records, 
first evaluate both your business's requirements and the requirements of the tax authority. You need to consider the tax regime and tax records, the legal entity and operating units, configuration owners, and in some cases, the transaction events. You should apply end dates to all of the appropriate records. These conditions apply to end dated tax records. Once you enter an effective today, you cannot update this date after you save the record. The tax or taxes remain available for transactions whenever the transaction date is within the date range of the applicable tax regime, tax, and configuration owner. You can still search, view, and update end dated tax records using the tax pages. End dated taxes no longer appear in the regime to rate flow hierarchy grid of tax regimes, taxes, and tax statuses. You can manage tax availability in these ways. Update Availability of all taxes in a tax regime for all configuration owners. Availability of a specific tax in a tax regime for all configuration owners. Availability of all taxes for a specific legal entity or operating unit. Availability of a specific tax in a tax regime for a specific legal entity or operating unit and availability of all taxes for a specific transaction event of a specific legal entity or operating unit. Thank you, and for more information, call us today for a free assessment and email us to release12 at itconversions.com. Don't forget to watch our series of videos about a business tax.